Well, I have arrived at my second location for today. We are at Hopewell Furnace National Historic Site, and we were just over at the furnace area, but I did say I was gonna come looking for the cemetery, and we have found it along with the little church. And it was easy to find. It's right off of uh, Bethesda Road. This is called the Bethesda Church. I guess I'm saying that right. And this is the little cemetery here. So you know how I feel about cemeteries, so we're gonna go check this place out. I just read the sign up there, a little plaque, and this church was built 1782, I believe it said, right after the American Revolution. So we're gonna walk around and check it out. The church has been restored quite a bit. And I think the stone wall around the cemetery has seen quite a bit of restoration, but we'll, uh, we're gonna walk around a little bit. You know, if it's built in 1782, there should be some old graves in here. So we're gonna have a look around. And that noise you hear is <laughs> someone also decided to use their chainsaw as I'm making a video here, but that's that's the way it is out here in the countryside. Someone else is firing off their rounds from their gun or something, and they got a chainsaw, but that's the way it is. <laughs> we'll deal with it. All right, let's get in here and check things out. Where to start? I guess we'll start on this side first. This looks like where some of the newer ones are, the burials. And we got 1873, 1949. So some of these are, I mean, they're still old, 1800s. Oh, here's a Civil War veteran, Oliver Lloyd. Got the Grand Army of the Republic thing there. Uh, not thing, but a plaque there. There are some older ones here as well, then. We'll have the older style. Those might be uh, newer ones that replace some older ones, probably, because usually from the 1800s, they look like this. All right, so I'll try to read this. I think I can. Can we forget the never know? As long as memory, as long as memories shall flow. I'm not sure what that says. Until the thread of life shall sever, we never can forget the never never. Hmm. Let's keep looking around some more. I'm hoping there's some really old ones in here. As always, all these are hard to read. And I'm going to give my little speech again because I keep being told about, you know, putting flour or chalk rubbings on these but when I come to these churches I don't do that because a lot of churches don't want you to come out here and putting stuff on their their tombstones they don't really appreciate it so and I know the whole thing with a little flashlight but I don't I don't have one with me right now so we'll do what we can and these little ones are almost always little children I don't know if you can read that one in the dark but it says James Schaefer 1860 to yeah, 18, May 5th, 1860 to October 22nd, 1860. So only like five months old. These are probably all little children. Oh, it says Mark. Or Mary, it says Mary. These are the older style. I see mostly 1800s though. Here's in memory of Margaret who died in 1846. It's not the same when she was born, really. Looks like we have a Revolutionary War veteran up here. Or maybe not. I see, a, I see that plaque for a war. That's what it just says, though. Oh, no, definitely not. This, these are newer ones. Ernest Troit, 1895 to 1960. Yeah, so he fought in World War I, so that's what this is. Yeah, World War, 1917 to 1918. Of course, World War One was 14 to 18, but that's when the U.S. was in it.
Yeah, back there was our World War I veteran. Because you see a lot of empty space. It's probably not empty. There's probably actually a lot of people buried in here. They just don't have a tombstone. That's the way it is in a lot of old cemeteries. I'm going to walk around and check out some of these. And of course we have a whole other section over here to check out. I'm starting to lose daylight, so I don't have too much time out here. I want to share this one with you because this is another plaque that I don't see too often. This is this, it looks like the Spanish American War, it says Cuba. So that was, uh, what, 1898, I believe. Spanish American War, it's a Spanish War veteran. I don't see too many of these. So that's interesting. All right, let's walk over to the other side. Not seeing anything from the 1700s yet. Some more little ones, probably some more children. Because some of these have been repaired as well. Looks like we have another war veteran down here, Civil War veteran. Say Rebecca Mostello, Most Mosteller, age 76. Can't really tell a date. Date's covered up there. This is probably her husband. Well, it looks like Frederick Mosteller. <laughs> looks like 1815 to 1883. And he was a Civil War veteran. There's his little plaque. Who's this? I think this is the same one. This is a monument to him. 128th PA Infantry, Company A. I think that's Frederick as well. I think this is belongs to him. Just a little monument for him, a separate monument. This is pretty cool up here. They got these huge, you know, different style here. But these, you just cannot read. These are covered in those, uh, these are lichens, these little scaly things. They just, Makes it almost impossible to read. All those small ones are probably children again. Lots of children. But these ones you can read. In memory of Deacon George Lloyd, who departed this life June 26th, 1862. This is his wife over here, memory of Eliza. I should mention this is often called the Lloyd Church as well. Lots of Lloyds in this cemetery. These are all Lloyds over here. Samuel Lloyd, Thomas Lloyd, Enoch, there's a name for you, Enoch Lloyd. Old fashioned uh, biblical name. Also a Civil War veteran as well. Let's just walk around a little bit more. Sarah Bingham, Binghamman, born in 1817, died 1890. I like the, the pattern on there. There's our chainsaw again. I was hoping there'd be some older graves in here but well here's well here's a 1798 looks like Edward something men pa par Parliament 1798 to 1847 oh he was only 18 years old huh there's 
some white ones. Eliza, wife of George Fair, born 1812, died in 1855. Uh, 1842, sorry. 1843, if I could read. 1855, she's only 12 years old. Wow. Got some more small ones, probably more children here. Got another Civil War veteran. Another one of these Parliaments, Edward Parliamen. Son of Edward. Oh, so he's, we had another Edward up here somewhere, so this is his son. 1830 to 1872. Looks like this is his wife over here. Miriam. That's an old fashioned name too. Samuel Hawes. 1825 to 1874. Oh, here's another Sam. This must be his father. Here's another Samuel Hawes. Oh, here, here's an older date. 1793, he was born. That's our oldest date. I like to I like trying to find the old dates. Oh, we're coming to the end here. Oh, there's an, uh, two more Civil War veterans here. So we'll check these out. David, David McGallagher, 1833 to 1914. So he fought in the Civil War and lived to see the start of World War, World War One. Looks looks like his wife Lydia. And we'll check out one more veteran here. James Maxson, Company F, 92 Regiment, Pennsylvania Volunteers, 1822 to 1871. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this little cemetery. I didn't know what I would find here. I was hoping that there'd be some older, older graves, like from the 1700s, maybe even the 1600s. You know, I did find that one recently. I had some graves where people were born in the you know, 1690s. That's always like, that's cool. I like to find the older ones. We are in a more historic area in Berks County, so I was kind of hoping, not that these graves aren't interesting, but I was hoping for some much older ones. And the church is locked too, so we can't get in there, which is probably a good thing, because otherwise it might probably gets vandalized. But anyway, it's still fun to walk around these old cemeteries and just visit them. They all have their own little unique character to them. Once again, this is in the Hopewell Furnace Historic um, Park or Historic Site off of Bethes Bethesda Road. Actually, the, the main site is over there. All right, well, I'm going to head home. I am running out of light. So thanks for coming along once again, and uh, I'll see you around.